We're very excited to see this lady in person and to have her on the show. Stage actress with the Dublin Gate Theater originally and Orson Welles Mercury Theater before she came to Hollywood. Became one of America's favorites in the classic golden age of Warner Brothers Pictures. Right now she's starring on Broadway in the new play The Shadow Box. She recently treated Los Angeles audiences to her new cabaret act right here at Studio One, which brought out all of the notables of our town. Here's some pictures uh, on opening night. There is uh, Roger Moore, Gregory Peck, Kirk Douglas wishing her well. Betty Davis, a close friend, was also on hand to introduce her to the audience, as a matter of fact. And from her early days at Warner Brothers, uh, there's Geraldine on the left with fellow cast members of Wuthering Heights, David Niven, Merle Oberon, Sir Laurence Olivier. See if you can identify the gentleman with her in one of her early stage productions. A lot of makeup on him. He was 29 at the time. That's Orson Welles. Here's that very gifted talent, Geraldine Fitzgerald. kicking your shoes off there. Yes, yeah, so I was afraid I was going to kick nah. the mic off. What's was that, worse? Was that a great experience for you, Geraldine? Because the papers here were filled with glowing notices of your cabaret act. At Studio One? Yeah. Yes, I was terrified, really, very, very scared. Because I hadn't been back here for, for years, you know, except for an occasional um, small job. And then there were all these people that I had many I hadn't seen for so many years. But is that framework, is, is that is what's terrifying to you? The, the thoughts is a cabaret? Well, you And partly, there are no other actors? Yes, partly because you're up there alone, you know. And you're playing that. Geraldine yes, Fitzgerald. That's right, and uh, so it was. But everybody was, was uh, wonderful to me, and Betty Davis uh, made me feel so welcome. And, uh, Do you recall she, anything she said? Yes, yeah, she said a, a wonderful thing. Um, I gave her a present. Uh, in the middle of the evening because I noted that when I saw clips of her films at the Salute to Betty Davis, yeah. that well, she not only created characters, she created universes for them to move around in. So I, I got for her a glass paperweight in the shape of a little world. And I gave it to her and I had I'd written on the bottom was, Betty, make more worlds. Mm. And she, she, she came running from her table. She wasn't supposed to, it was supposed to be brought to her. Um, but typical of her, she came running up on the stage and hugged me and said to the audience, well, you've certainly given us a world tonight. So, so usual generosity. See, when I first came out here, it was for Dark Victory, and she sort of started me off. Oh, I So I feel that. she kind of started me Phil. off in cabaret out here, too. Mm, and who's the wonderful f French actor in that with, with you? Um, the Jean, uh, not Jean-Pierre Amont. Um, um, well, actually, I don't know. Bogart was in that, you know, playing a small role. She played... Ronnie she, Regan. She, this was the picture where she played the girl who was going blind. Blind, yes. right, right. And um, George Brent, and maybe oh. there was a French actor, because it seems... No, 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 no. You know what I'm her. thinking of? The one where she went on the, on the, the boat uh, trip. And that was Paul Henry. Paul and Henry. And the two cigarettes. Right, yes. yes. No, That's where the two cigarette part. business yes. started. Yeah. Will this now be the future of Geraldine Fitzgerald, or is this just... Uh, Something that uh, no, well, it started out as uh, as something that I didn't think would be the paramount thing, but it might well become so. I really love doing it. Mm. You see, in your act, you talk about singing. You sing um, street songs. Yes, but I don't mean the kind of songs that people sing um, for money in the street. I mean the songs that we all sing if we if we want to sing and we have nowhere to sing <laughs> and we feel lonely or we feel exultant, whatever, and we break out singing in the streets and we do it whether we can remember the words or not. I mean, who has not, out in the street, at one time or another, wanted to know what it's all about? Alfie, yeah. don't know the words. La 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 la. That is, if you can't do what John Toomey does. Yes. <laughs> you, have to go, you have to go la 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 la. Um, oh, it is true. I get a tune stuck in my head for a couple of days at a time. And you don't mind if you don't know the words? Do no, you? no, 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 no. And I, I sometimes sing them in the middle of tennis games. I don't know why that is. It helps your rhythm. <laughs> Does it? And I. Mm, 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 mm. And it's, Everybody knows the opening. That's <clears throat> right. And or, 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 or something about it, like you know, in opera, there's one fine day we'll notice. Oh yeah. La 
la la la la la la la la. You can even start to cry, but you don't know what you noticed. Yeah, they're your la la's. <laughs> they're la la's. <laughs> Set up this one you're going to do. Yes, for I us. will. Well, there's one song that everybody here knows. Yeah. Everybody listening knows, and nobody's ever known any of the words. They only know la 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 la. Um, Edith Piaf used to sing it, but she sang it in French, so that's no good. The song is The Poor People of Paris. Oh, of course. You don't know the words, do you? No. Do you? No. Do you? Do you? No. No, nobody. But everybody knows the tune. Yeah, so I researched it, and there are American <laughs> words are for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So the words, though, are not what you'd expect, because The Poor People of Paris, it sounds as if it was going to be about financially disadvantaged citizens of the capital city of France. People yes. who are starving. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's much simpler way of putting it. <laughs> yes. Um, but it isn't about that at all. The American lyric is about uh, an American tourist from the dry belt. He's been to Paris. He hasn't liked it. And now he's come back and he's giving the hometown folks a report. Never knew that. Yep. Never knew that that was the lyric. The poor people of Paris, Geraldine Fitzgerald. <laughs> No, you're right, you're right. All right. Just got back from Paris, France. All they do is sing and dance. All they've got there is romance. What a tragedy. Every boulevard has lovers. Every lover's in a trance. The poor people of Paris. Milk and water from the sink Make your true Parisian shrink Wine is all they'll ever drink And it worries me For with wine as cheap as water Well, it makes you stop and think The poor people of Paris I feel sorry for the fresh In the park are sun and wet Occupying every bench, kissing shamelessly. Night and day they're making music while they're making love in French. The poor people of Paris. So don't go to Paris, France. Not unless you like to dance. Not unless you want romance. La 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 la. la. Like those poor inhabitants. Of Paris. La, 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 la. Geraldine Fitzgerald and her La La song. We'll be back. I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs>